Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? It's good to see everybody joining me here today. Guys, if you can, copy this link and share with somebody. I'm about to share something here that is going to uh, to talk to you guys, all right? Um, in 2022, we say that we're going to be brutally honest with ourselves. So I'm here to be brutally honest with everybody. I know you guys are scared already. Just saying that you're already scared and you're wondering what really happened, what really happened, what really happened. But very soon, guys, you'll know what happened. The best thing you can do, copy this link and share with somebody and let's spread this news right now, right here. All right. I'm just going to have a word of prayer and then I'll begin. And by the way, guys, I changed a little bit my T-shirt these days. All right. I have this one T-shirt wearing every single time. It's not one, though. I have two, but anyways, it's all about Africa. So let me have a word of prayer, and then I'm going to jump right away to share with you guys what really happened and what Ethiopian airline did to me. God, I thank you today. God bless you. Oh, I'm blessing God. I thank you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> You're amazing. And thank you for all the times. Thank you for the good time. Thank you for the bad time. And thank you for this moment that we are here together as a family uh, to talk, to connect. I welcome you here in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Guys, have you ever blessed God before? I just blessed God here today. God bless you. <laughs> this is cool, man. Those are kind of prayer you pray when you're sleepy. Guys, it's good to be here. It's good to see everybody. Please copy this link, share with somebody, and do me a favor. Like this video. I know you don't know what I'm going to talk about, but first thing first, like this video. Because when you like, the word spread. When you like, everybody knows what's going on. When you like, everybody listens. When you like, everybody see what is happening. So please like this video. Actually, liking video is better than even sharing the video. All right? So you got to like. And that's it's going to be amazing. That's going to be amazing. All right, like this video. I'm going to wait for a second and then I will start talking very soon. Like, like it right now. I'm just trying to share with somebody there. Like, 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 like. I, I wish I have 100 people here before I begin to share. Like, 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 and share with somebody out there. Let's spread this word, all right? This is very important. This is very important to share with my family. And I promise you guys in 2022, I'll be brutally honest with you guys. I have to be brutally honest with you, man. I have to, all right? If you hate me, go ahead and hate me. If you don't support me, that's okay. Go ahead and don't support me. But I have to be brutally honest with you guys. I have to be brutally honest with every single person out there. It's really important because Africa will never change. Like somebody told me the other day, she was here, said that Africa, we don't have to change Africa, all right? But us, we have to change ourselves, right? But let me just say that for the sake of the sentence, Africa will never change, all right? If we are not honest with ourselves, one thing that is costing Africa is because we're not honest, we're not straight, we just go this and this and that. Okay, if you're straight, good luck for you. But most most of us, we are not that. We we love those back ways, you know. That's why we we, we like giving money to get the service. We love giving money to um to sh to to do this and that. And that's kind of like the system that is already there, right? system that is already there and we got used to it these days when you want to get a service the service that you deserve you must give money to get service it's your service you deserve to get that service you have to serve me as a leader as a person you have to do that it's your work it's part of your job for you to do that but why do i need to give you money to do something that you're supposed to do that's that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of all this stuff that's going on in Africa, you know. And I know it's going all across the world, but man, I'm African and I'm here to talk about Africa. So if we need to see change that Africa needs, that we need, when I say Africa need, I mean Africans need, we must change our brain. We must change how we operate. We must be honest and brutally honest with ourselves. So go ahead. First of all, like this video. I know maybe you're wondering, that what should I like? And I don't even know what you're going to say. No, just like anyways, if you don't like what I say, you can unlike. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? We have 99 people here, 99 people joining us today. So just go and like. Let me see how many likes. Okay, we already 56 likes. That's beautiful. All right. That's cool. That's beautiful. That's good. We're heading somewhere. We have 106 people here watching right now. Please go and like. It's going to be amazing. All right, guys. I promise you that I will share with you when we have 100 people and we are 100 people. Why don't I share with you? 
So guys, this is what Ethiopia Airlines did this to me. You guys, you know that I'm in South Korea right now. All right, I'm in South Korea. I came here for Seoul Africa Festival. I came here to represent Africa. I came here to stand for Africa. I came here to put Africa on the map. The job, the work that me and my best friend GP we have done for the past nine years in Korea. So I came here to do that again. I was invited by this one company called Africa Insight. Very good guy. These guys, they're amazing representing Africa. They are Koreans, but actually they're doing the work of Africa here. In the, in, the, in the country. The one guys that I can recommend you 100,000%, you can trust them 100%. These are the guys that I worked with and me and God's power, we ambassadors uh, of, of, of that NGO. It's actually NGO is doing a lot of good work in Kenya and it's going to expand across the continent of Africa. So that's beautiful. We did that event on Saturday. It was just one day event. We sang, first of all, and also we hosted the show. So me and GP together in a collaboration, we host a show. The show that it was like uh, Africa's Got Talent. A lot of Africans were there. A lot of Koreans were there. All nationality were there. Guys, a lot, so many people were there. I'm not exaggerating. So many people were there. You guys have seen the video I've shared. If you haven't seen, go and check the video. I already shared the video. Let me share here in the comment section. You will see a little bit. I share a little bit of the places. I mean, you can see how many people were there. And so we thank God for that. They came to witness. I just share the link in the comment section. Watch that video and you will see how many people attended that concert. And me and GP, your brothers, you know, let me say this. This is the big deal because in here in Korea, most of the time, like you'll find some organizations that are doing Africa's work, but they don't have Africans. Right. If there's an event like that, you know, the host are not really African. So you're wondering, like, what are you doing this? Are you doing this for Africans or are you doing this for yourself? But these organizations that I'm talking about, their work is for Africa by Africans, even though it's here in Korea and they're the ones that are doing work. Those are the guys that they work men day and night. I've never seen people work hard like that. And yet, you know, in the NGOs, you don't really have money. Right. And that's kind of the organization that sometimes I wish, I wish that organization could have a lot of money because they're doing a good work here in South Korea to represent Africans and to defend Africans. Anyways, so those guys, definitely they invited us here and they gave us five days to stay in the hotel because they booked flight tickets for us, that organization, Africa Insight, Africa Insight, they book. Uh, so basically, they got that sponsorship from the government. So in that case, we want to appreciate the Korean government as well through Africa Insight. They were able to pay for the flight, both go, coming here to Korea and going back to Africa, paying for visa, as well as paying for the hotel for five days because the event was just for one day. right? So you're coming from Africa. I lived here in Korea for, for nine years. I can't just stay for five days. All right. So what I did as I was moving back from Tanzania, I took my, I mean, I took all the uh, projects, proposals we've written, you know, for Swahili Nation, One Africa, or the concept notes, uh, you know, the profile of the, of the organization. I brought it with me here in South Korea because at that moment I was just talking to this uh, CEO of Africa inside that, hey, please connect me with some CEOs and some people that we can talk to. We can see how can we collaborate when you go back to Africa to start all these projects on the, in the motherland. We want these people to collaborate with us if it's something that they're interested in. And this is the this is the collaboration that we need. We don't need you. We don't need you to give us food. We don't want that. All right. We want you, if you have skills, we want you to give us your skills. If you have tools, we want you to give you tractors. We want you to give something that will give our farmers, will give our people, and they will use it to manufacture something. Because if you give, give us food, just like other organizations they do, then you're not helping our farmers. Our farmers, they're not going to be able to, 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 to grow crop anymore. They will stop doing agriculture because you're giving us food. No, we want to produce our own food. We want to use our own food. We want to empower our own farmers. We want to empower our own people to be able to do things they're supposed to do to produce for the continent and for our people and the continent. Because food security is the first thing that we need more than anything else. If you want people to fight well, if you want people to, to, to manufacture well, if you want people to enjoy life, they need to eat. And in this age of time, it's ridiculous to have people, Africans, dying because they don't have food. 
Yes, there might be drought because of climate change, but that, again, is not an excuse for the people to die because they don't have food. The northern part of Kenya, they're going through that. Somalia, strategists say that. Some part of uh, Ethiopia and other countries in Africa, the projection is that there will be a heavy drought in the coming years and a lot of people will die because they don't have food. So please, IMF, please give us money, give us food, give us food. No, we don't want, we don't want your food. We don't want your damn food. We don't even trust your food. No, give us tools, give us skills to be able to do that if that's what we need. You know what I'm saying? So I came up with that so that we may, uh, we may reach out to this. So as, as I'm saying right now, I already sent emails to a lot of companies, all right? I already sent a, a lot of companies and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I, I guess only two companies so far replied to me, uh, but I'm still waiting for the rest of them. If they're going to invite me, sit down with them, sit down and show them the proposal, talk to them that how can you collaborate? How can we, because we already have a plan. Do you understand what I'm saying, man? We have a plan that can work. We have the proposal that is well written that can work. And it's a very little amount of money that is going to save the lives of Africans. It's going to save them from dying from hunger. Do you understand what I'm saying, my people? We have always been saying that, man, we're working for Africa. We want to save this continent. We want to save our people. We want to unite our people. And food is everything. People, they need to eat. I know in Ethiopia it's a little bit different because you guys, you fast almost a whole year, you know, understand that. But again, you need food, right? So we need food to our people. We need that. All right. So five days, the hotel, they were done. Five days finished. And as you guys know, all right, I'm, I'm, uh, guys, I am brutally honest with you. All right. I'm not sugarcoating anything. I'm telling you the things the way it is. You guys, you have to know it. You have to know, because if you don't know it, you might see me sharing all this video. Be like, oh, these guys are having buzz. But let me tell you the truth, the way it is. We have an organization right now, Soil Nation One Africa is registered. We have bank account of Soil Nation One Africa. The balance of the bank account is zero. It's sifur, it's sifur, it's sifur. That's how it is. So five days is done in the hotel. But I know that I need to stay here because I'm still waiting for the other companies to tell, talk to me. Next week, I'm meeting with other CEOs to talk about the project, to share that with them and to see how we can collaborate, how they can sponsor, how we can work together. We are taking advantage of that because Korea, they're really good, really good at this project that we want to do. I've witnessed it with my naked eyes, with my two eyes. I've seen it. So I know I need to stay here. I know I cannot leave right now because I still have meetings, appointment of the meetings in the weeks to come. So I need to stay here at least for a month. All right. I need to stay here at least for a month. So I, I pretty much I have like three weeks. And right? I need to stay here at least for that time so that I may finish all this project that we are finding people to come and to support us, to come to work with us, to come to stand with us. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stand with us because you're either for africa or you're either against with africa it's a, it's either two of them and if you are for africa then there's a way that you are going to collaborate with us there's a way you're going to work with us according to our teams all right so five days are done guys five days are done and my, my i was there with my friend gp because <laughs> Anyways, GP was actually going to leave earlier than me because he has a work to do in Nigeria. So we're sitting there. It's already today. We need to we need to get out of the hotel. We're getting out of the hotel. Biggie, if he's here, he can confess. I talked to Biggie today. I had a conversation with him and I told him. I spoke to him. So GP is asking me, say, Mika, where are you going? I met some couple of friends yesterday that asked me, where are you going? I don't have a place to go. I told him that I, I, I don't really, and I'm not even worrying. We're there at the lobby of the hotel. I have my bags. I don't know where to go. I can't book hotel. I don't have money to book the hotel. I'm there sitting there at the lobby. Guys, sitting at the lobby. So that's when you guys saw, I went live today. Me and GP, we got out of the hotel. We left our bags at the lobby. We went all the way to play pocket ball. You guys have seen the live stream. We were playing pocket ball today in the live stream. Let me show you here the pocket ball we're playing. We're playing live stream here, all right? 
let me comment here in the comment section. Me and JB, this time when we were playing, guys, I had no place to go. So we just were sitting somewhere there playing pocket ball. And let me show you here. This is the link there. So we, we left the hotel because we were sitting there and we're like, oh, these guys, they're going to be like, why these guys are not getting out of here? So we don't have a place to go. So when to the game and we were playing game you play the game just to just to kill the time you know play the game but yet we need to take those bags from the hotel so i went back to the hotel to pick up my bags so we are going me and jp were leaving we we're going to one of our friends house you know what i'm saying to leave those bags right maybe you can get you guys can ask me hey, why you didn't ask your friends man I'm, honestly ever since anyways i don't i don't want to i don't want to get there i don't want to get there so we are working I'm, I'm taking this bag i'm like okay let me go to leave somewhere but at that moment, oh, I so I call because I have a contact. I have a contact of the branch manager of Ethiopian Airlines here in South Korea. Because I had, I had to, I had to, basically, I had to change my flight to another day. So I'm having a phone call. Then I'm talking to him. That hey, um, I, I'm sorry. I just wanted to change my flight. I know I was supposed to leave today, but you know I have this and this and this is the work that needs to be done. I, I want to extend. I want to change until this date. I told him. And and then I texted him. Actually, I texted him. This guy, within one minute, within one minute, came back to me. Said Mika, your flight has been changed. Don't worry. Guys, I'm saying that. I don't have a place to stay. The flight has been changed. So you change the flight. And usually when you change the flight, you need to pay money for it. 150 US dollars. 100, guys, 150 US, US, 150 US dollars. This guy changed. So he said, Mika, change free. You don't need to pay. The first thing. I'm sitting there. I'm telling this guy that, hey, man, I'm telling you, hey man, I'm gonna leave here. I need to go to another city because my friend in another city, you know, offered me a place to stay. So I wanna go there. I wanna chill there. But I still know that, uh, you know, I, I'm supposed to meet this guy and I'm supposed to have a meeting. I'm supposed to have, you know, meetings with, you know, some CEOs here, here in the city where I am right now. So. This guy. He said, hey, hey, just just wait, just hang on a minute. Let me work on something. Guys, this manager, I've, I've I haven't seen him yet face to face, but I've spoken to him before. One year ago when I was leaving Korea, and I spoke to him in the middle there, and this was another time talking to him. And I was so so I was I was I was I was just there. This guy, he just sent me the, the what? He sent me the address for the hotel. That, hey, the hotel is booked. Go in this address. Five days. Five days with breakfast. These are coupons for breakfast for five days. First, my ticket were changed. Second, imagine my ticket were changed because of the work that needs to be done here. And I need to be here for that work. Second, I had no place to, leave, to go. That is already afternoon. My bags are just at the lobby. I don't know where to go. I really don't know. Like, and I'm not scared. I'm not worried. I didn't even, I didn't even know that. I, I Guys, I had no idea. Like, I had no idea. It was just very spontaneously. I have no idea what I was going to do. This guy is sending me the address. Go to this hotel. We book for you for five days. I went. I, I mean, I did. I didn't. Even, I didn't even check where is this hotel. I was like, ah, this hotel is in this in this place. Okay, I was like, sure. But then, right before I came here, I went, you know, on Google and then put that address. You know, let me see this. And this is where I came. The hotel is beautiful. It's good. I shared a little video, a little video of a room. It's very cute room, very cute room like where I am right now. Let me show you guys this video. And I'm going to say something after that. All right. I'm going to say something after that. I'm going to say something after that. And I want you guys to listen to me very careful because what I'm about to say right now, what I'm about to say right now is something very, very, very important. If you're joining me right now, like this video.
If you don't like this video, you ain't my friend. If you don't like this video, you ain't my friend. All right? You ain't my friend. That's a thread. Are you threading us? Yes, I'm threading you right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. I'm the one talking. I can thread you. You ain't my friend if you're not liking this video. Let me show you this video now. Because I took I took a little video to show here. This 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 room. Let me let me show you this room. Very cute room. Very good. Like it's 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 personal room. Like it's a room that I can actually enjoy. Hey guys. Hey guys. So this is the place that uh, basically um Ethiopian airline in um South Korea provided for me so shout out to the manager branch manager of ethiopia um airline shout out to him uh, this is the um what the, 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 the bathroom and also the room it's very decent it's really cute all right this is where the pilots and uh, the flight attendants um they're living actually look at how cute it is it's just it's a really cute place you know it's a place that you can enjoy you got everything here it's beautiful so i really appreciate thank you so much thank you so much um this is why i'm saying if you're an african it's a shame to use non-african airline it's a shame because this is a time to promote our own airlines our own companies our own things that we are doing instead of riding another airlines why don't we support our own airlines if you are the one booking the ticket, why don't you book from Ethiopian Airlines? Why don't you book from African Airlines? If somebody else gave you a gift, you cannot do anything about that. But us as Africans, we need to be proud with what we have and we need to support our very own. If Ethiopian Airlines take good care of me this much, remember me sometime. Why don't I remember them as well? So I have a request. If you are my friend, if you are my friend, if your title is my friend, I want you to take Ethiopian Airlines every time. You don't do that. Me and you, we're done. I'm breaking up with you. I'm breaking up with you. I don't want any friendship with anyone who is not using Africa's airline. I don't want that. And in this case, particularly, specifically, Ethiopian Airlines. You don't take that. I'm done with you. My friendship with you, it's over. Get out of here. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm done with you. Africa. All right, guys. So, um, so this is my message to you. All right, this is my message to you. This is my message to you. If you are my friend, I want you to know this. Like I say in the video, it's a shame if you're an African and you keep taking other airlines. It's a shame. Shame on you. Shame on you. If you're an African and you take, you use other airlines and then you're saying that I'm Pan-Africanist, I love Africa. I, it's a shame. Shame to me too in the past because I did that. It's a shame. Sometimes we, we feel like it's a trend to take, I don't even want to mention the names of the airlines, all right? I don't want to mention them. But we have our own airlines in Africa, our, and our own airlines in Africa, our own airlines in Africa that they are supporting, that they're helping us as Africa. We don't use them. Let me tell you this. Maybe you might be saying that, oh, he supported you. How did, how, how, how did I benefit anything from Ethiopian airline? Guys, I represent one Africa. I represent you guys. If these guys gave me this place for five days, they gave you. Do you understand that? If they gave me, they gave Swahili Nation, One Africa, five days because I'm here for work, guys. 
I don't take rest. I'm here for work. Do you know what time is it right now? It's 3.31 a.m. in the morning and I'm not sleeping. So I don't even enjoy the bed that is here. What am I doing? I'm working here for Swahili Nation One Africa. I'm supposed to be sleeping here. I'm not, but I'm not. What time do I sleep? During the day, we're working, we're working, we're working back and forth, phone calls and all this stuff to find people, to talk to people, to meet people. So if Ethiopian airlines are doing this to me, it's not me person. It's because of what we are doing, guys. They had no idea who is Mika until they saw what we were doing. That's when they found out that, oh, there's this guy, Mika. He talks about this and this, about Africa, about Ethiopia, about this and this. That's when they realized. That's when they knew that there's somebody known as Mika. I'm not here because of my name. I'm here because of what we do. Do you understand that? I'm here because of what we represent. We represent one Africa. We stand for one Africa. We stand for peace, love, peace, and unity. That's what we stand for. And they love that message. They endorse that message. That's why they support me. Because I'm here in another country and I don't have a place to stay. But they came along. Man, if Biggie was here, he would have told you guys what I was telling him today. What we were talking today. So if you're an African, it's a shame if you use any other airlines. I don't care what airlines are those. If you have a lot of money, then you can book... African airline, Ethiopian airline, first class. And I'm going to talk about Ethiopian airline because Ethiopian airline is supporting me. And I have a place here. I have a place here. This is the life, the real life of Africa, of Africans. This is the real life of people who are working for Africa. They don't even have a place to stay sometimes. But you know, God is good. Because God, he sees what we're doing. He knows what we're doing. And he opened the doors. So what, I don't worry about tomorrow. I told you guys, I told you guys, I don't worry about my future. I'm worrying about right now. Yesterday, my friend was asking, Mika, where are you going to sleep tomorrow? I said, I don't know. And I'm not worrying. Today, the day came, I am sitting there. He's asking me, we, we are checking out, out of the hotel, 12 p.m. PM afternoon. Mika, where are you going? I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> Guys, you are in another country, expensive country. You are staying five days, but you have faith. You, you added three weeks more to stay, and you don't have a place to stay. How, how can you explain that? How can you explain that? And you are checking out, and you don't know where you are going, and you are sitting there in the lobby because you don't have a place to go. You're going to play with your friend, Pocketball, because you don't have a place to go. And then all of a sudden, you get a place to stay for five days. How can you explain that? We might not have money in paper, but we have people. We have Africans. We have Africans who are standing for us. What the manager of this branch here in South Korea, what Ethiopian airline has done to me for these five days, giving me this place, you have to know that he's doing to Africa. He's doing to Snoa. So Hill Nation, one Africa. He's doing to our community because of the message we are carrying, because of what we stand for. So they are supporting that. They are endorsing that. In five days, I am grateful. I am grateful. So I want to ask all of my friends out there. I want to ask all of you guys who are watching this video right now. Stop taking any other airline. If they want me to talk about them, let them give us also free ticket. Let us give us something. I'll talk about them, but stop taking any other airlines. The only airline I'm here to talk about is Ethiopian airline. Ethiopian airline. And I told you guys what they've done to me. This is a big deal to me. It's a big deal to me because I am here at the field. I know the life here. You guys are not here. So for those who are skeptical, no, I am here. And today I was having conversation with Big E. He knows. He knows how I was feeling. He knows. He knows. So stop taking any other airlines. If you already booked the ticket, you can cancel. It's okay. If you lose, you know, whatever dollars, it's okay. 
Just give that to Ethiopian island. Give that to Africa. Africa deserves it. Let's build our continent, man. Some of you are like, ah, but our continent is very corrupted. I don't want to give anything. So it, who is not corrupted? Who is not corrupted? As long as you have this flesh, you're corrupted in any other way, man. You're looking at me. I'm corrupted too. I might not be corrupted because of money, but something else I'm corrupted. All of us, you're corrupted in some ways. Well, are we accepting that and just staying there? No, we're not. That's why we have a movement like this, Noah, to fight, to encourage one another, to help one another, to push one another, so that we may change this continent, so that we may change the life that we're living right now. Our kids can live a different life. We're preparing that. We're preparing the leaders of tomorrow. Some of you who are watching here, you be leaders and you remember my words when you become your leader. This is my job, guys. Maybe my job is just talk to you guys. Maybe my, my job is just to shape you guys. Maybe I'll not be any leader of any country. Maybe I'll not be anybody. Hey, my job is this, to remind you. My job to speak to you. My job to remind you that you have to support whatever that is Africa. You have to support it. No matter what it is, you have to support it. Yes, you care about quality. We have quality things. Don't tell me that there's any any airline there that it has quality service than Ethiopian Airlines. I rode other lines, I mean airlines as well, and I've seen it. I ate their food too. They kind of suck, by the way. And Ethiopian is Africa's airline. When you go there to Ethiopia airport, you see nothing but Africa's airline right there. Right there, my people. Right there. So if you guys have no idea, man. Five days. Five days, guys. Five days. Five days, guys. Five days. And let me see how much is this place. I don't even need to tell you how much, but five days, guys. Five days. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And somebody's sitting there telling me, stop talking about Ethiopia. Get out of here, man. If you want me to stop talking about Ethiopia, do something, then I'll talk about you. Five days. Five days. Somebody type five days in the comment section. Come on, man. That has, it needs to have some meaning. Five days. And five days. Being here, there's a swimming pool. The bad thing is they have a gym here. I love gym, but gym is closed because of COVID. Man, in this age, how do you close it because of COVID? It doesn't make sense. Breakfast in the morning. Man, come on, man. Come on, people. Come on, come on. Let me, let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. Some of you are still skeptical and have been in this family for a long time. If you're skeptical, I can't do anything about that. If you doubt, I can't do anything about that. That's your doubt. But as we are moving forward, as we are moving forward, if you don't want to be engaged, it's, it's, it's on you. As you're moving forward, I, I don't care. You don't want to be engaged, don't be engaged. We, we are talking too much. We have already shared so much. We have already invited everybody so much. And that's what we do all the time. You don't want to be engaged. Hey, bye-bye. You want to leave the family? Yes, go, go, bye-bye. Some people will leave, some people will come in, some people will stop, some people will continue, some people will sleep, some people will wake up, some people will just continue to match on. And we're going to match on with those people who are matching on. That's what we do. That's what we do. Even in the midst of having nothing, we still move and match forward. Even in the midst of not having office, we still move and match forward. Even in the midst of not having a room, we still move and match forward. Because you know what? As a Christian, God makes a way where there seems to be no way. And he just made a way right here. Man, I love Africa, man. Trust me, guys. I'll tell you the truth. Let, let me let me give you a spoiler alert. When I visited Dubai, I was supposed to stay there for nine days. But I stayed there for four days and then I went back. 
Oh, I miss Africa. I'm here in Korea. I would stay for five days. And I want to go back home. I want to go back to Africa. I want to go back to Africa. And I want to tell you, my next point, my next point going to Africa, it will be Ethiopia. And there's a reason why I'm going to Ethiopia. Because that's where I stop, and then I go to Tanzania. My next stop is going to be there. There's a reason why I'm going there. And you guys will know. But the reason why I'm still staying here for those two or three weeks is because there's a work to be done. And I cannot leave right now yet. So I'm stuck here to get that work done. But my heart is in Africa. I lived for nine years here. When I was going back to Tanzania, I was not actually going to stay. I had a scholarship to go to Spain to start master's. I was going to go to Barcelona. Like when I was leaving South Korea, I was going to Tanzania to apply for visa in the embassy to go to Barcelona for master's. The moment I landed at the airport, I knew I was supposed to stay in Africa. I called a school. I canceled my admission. I said, I'm not coming. They said, hey, can we keep your admission for one more year? Maybe you can change your mind after one year. I said, no, don't keep it. Cancel. I'm not coming. And I gave up. My master's study. Some of you, you're going to feel like I'm stupid. You can feel whatever you want to feel. Maybe master's helped you, but for me, it's a different case. I knew I was supposed to stay. Because some part of me, deep inside my heart, I knew that I'm running away from something. I stay here for nine years. My time was done. Going back to Tanzania, I'm not staying. I'm going to Spain, start masters. I knew I was running away from something. It's not about studies. It's about running. So I called them, and it was, it was, it was not full scholarship. Actually, it was partial scholarship. But I canceled, and I didn't go. That was the best decision I've ever made in my life. Now, fast forward one year, because I came back to Korea right now, exactly one year after I left. I don't regret anything. Do I have money? Well, I don't have. I don't even have money to stay in the hotel. But it was the best decision I've made. Because, guys, when I tell you that money is not everything, trust me, money is not everything. The satisfaction, the joy, the happiness of doing what you're called to do, of fighting for your people, standing for your continent, being a voice to the silenced. I love that. Because somebody reminded me this week that when you say voice to the voiceless, nobody's voiceless, but people are silenced. It's very important. Everybody has a voice. Even if you don't speak, you have a voice. But the difference is most of our people, most of Africans, they're silenced. Most of our leaders are silenced. Maybe with loans, with aids, with threats, with sanctions. They're silenced. They have a voice, but they're silenced. Swahili Nation, One Africa, we are the voice to the silenced. Somebody type that in the comment section. That's powerful. Swahili Nation, One Africa, we're the voice to the silenced. Those people who are silenced, we're going to open their mouth and they're going to raise their voice. We're going to speak for them. We're going to stand for them. Because ain't nobody is going to silence us. No YouTube, no Instagram, no Twitter, no anything is going to silence us. Because if you silence us here, we'll open there. If you silence us there, we'll open there. If you silence there, we're going to meet face to face. And that's why I'm traveling. You ain't going to silence me. You ain't going to do that. Not your threat, not your word, not anything is not going to sell me. I said this in the speech when I went to Ethiopia for that youth Pan-African Pan Youth Summit. I said this. Even when I'm gone, even when I'm gone, my message, my body is going to still speaking under that ground. It's going to be speaking and talking. When people, they go and they see that, they'll be hearing Mika shouting, what Africa, what Africa, what African origin? 
they'll be hearing that voice coming out of the grave. And I'll be inside there. Because, you know, that's just body. Body will be there, but my spirit will be somewhere else where it came from. And I'll be speaking. I'll be shouting everywhere. That's, that's pretty scary, right? Especially some of you might not be able to sleep tonight. But anyways, because what? We are not allowing anybody to silence us. You're not going to silence us. You ain't going to do that. You better give up right now. If that's your plan, you better give up. Because you ain't going to silence us. Nothing is going to silence us. And I want to tell you this. Let me tell you this, guys. What I'm going to tell you right now is very important. Listen to me very careful. There's so many ways people can be silenced. So many ways. And I want to tell you this today. Remember this very careful. That they're going to try, whoever that person is, whether it's Africans or non-Africans, they're going to try to do everything to silence us. The mission has just got started, guys. We just got started. Every single day is the new day for me. I don't live in the past. I, in the future, God is already there. I'm not there. I am here right now. Every single day is a new opportunity. It's a new day. It's a fresh start for me. They're going to try everything to silence us. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. There will be attacks. There will be shutdowns. There will be scandals. There will be everything, man. Remember this. Don't listen to them. Don't pay attention to them. Because that's how they took down our leaders. The fighters of our countries. That's how they took them down. That's how they're taking them down today. They're shedding all kind of darkness on them. All kind of scandals on them. All kind of weird things on them. Calling them dictators. Calling them they don't deserve you. Calling them they don't love. They don't work for you. Calling them all kind of names. The only right we have. Is us Africans. We have the right to call our leaders whatever we want to do. Whatever we want to say. Because we are lead by them you have a right to call your leader however you want to call them it doesn't matter whether it's bad or good that's how you feel you have a right to call them it's you go ahead you have it's a free it's a free world you can speak go and do that but not anybody else they don't have a right remember this i'm saying i'm saying these guys good things have already started to happen Everything will come. But remember this. Don't ever give up. Don't ever be scared. Don't ever reduce your speed. Don't ever back down. Failure is just a stepping stone of moving forward. We'll fight for one Africa no matter what. All of us, we know that none of us here are perfect. I'm not here to, to say that I'm perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. I have things I struggle with. You have things you're struggling with. So if you're sitting there and you think that I'm a hero, you think that I'm a God, that is on you. I'm not God. I'm not goddamn God. I'm not. I'm just a human being. I have my flaws. I have my weaknesses. I have all those stuff. Just like you and me. We, we all have. And this, as long as we're living in this flesh, man, this flesh, we have our flaws. That's why you say, push, pray for us. Let's pray for one another. And don't expect too much from me. Because I'm just a human being. I get tired sometimes. So do you. But don't let anything stop you. You're fighting for Africa. You're standing for Africa. It's the best decision you could ever do. Don't even let your leader stop you. Don't even let corruption stop you. Don't even let what, whatever that it is, don't let it stop you. Let's stand together. Let's join our hands. Let's fight for this continent. It's a beautiful continent, man. It's good continent. Let's fight for our minds. Let's reimagine Africa. Let's prepare Africa for a future generation. Let's prepare Africa for us because we're going to enjoy the fruits of the work we are doing today. 
I'm telling you this today, SNOA, Swahili Nation One Africa, we're going to build schools, we're going to build hospitals, we're going to build industries, we're going to supply food across the continent and outside the continent, we're going to supply coffee inside the continent, outside the continent, we're going to take care of everything, we're going to have all the companies, you can name them. We're going. Africa, God has given us, we're literally going to carry Africa like this. That's what we're going to do. And you know what we stand for. And that's how Africa, it will look like in 50, in 100 years, in 200 years to come. I'm not going to be there, but our kids will be there and they will enjoy the fruits of our work we're doing today. And the good thing is that I'm not alone. I have 215 people watching here. I'm with you guys. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I don't know how we're going to do this. You understand me? I don't have all the answers. Don't ask me questions expecting me to give you all the answers. I don't have all the answers, but I have faith. And right now we have strategy. And right now we're working on our first project. We have a plan. Help us to accomplish that plan. And then we'll see if it's going to happen. Ah, this, you're fighting for one Africa. It never happened before. Oh, our forefathers, Mnyerere, Nkuruma, Haile Selassie. Oh, they fought for this. It never happened. How sure are you going to accomplish? Shut up, man. I'm not them. We are not them. And do, do you know what they did? Right now we are talking about this because of the sacrifice they made. They built the foundation for us to stand on today. If they didn't do that, man, we'll start from the beginning. We'll start to fight colonialism. Those guys, they fought colonialism. Do you know that sacrifice they made? They fought, they set us free. They gave us these countries. They gave us this continent. They fought so hard to make sure that we are where we are today. And then you're telling me they didn't achieve anything. Get out of here, man. Did you achieve anything? What did you achieve in your life? No, oh, guys, okay, I'm sorry. Let, let me... That, that was passion talking, guys. That was passion talking. Sometimes there's things going on in my mind, and then I remember what people say sometimes and comment, and I just, um, you know, go straight to them. But um, it's just passion talking. But passion talking is because of this country right here, Africa, continent. What did you achieve in your life? At least if you collaborate with us, you'll be able to achieve one Africa in our generation. And, uh, this will never be done. Never. What are you doing, by the way, even to support the movement? What are you doing? What have you done, Zaba? Are you just here watching and you don't do anything? You're just watching and then I'm supporting. I watch. You know, I like the video. That's the only thing you did. That's the only thing you can do to like the video and to watch. That's the only thing you can do. Get out of here, man. No, come on. I got to be brutally honest with you guys because you cannot be, you cannot be a king and you're sending soldiers to the bar and you're not going to fight with them. You're sitting in the White House and then you uh, how many did you kill? No, go there and fight in the battle. Do you think the fight for one Africa, we're going to win if some of us, we just like the video and share? No, you need to step up. You need to step your game. Today, I'm not here to be kind, kind, everybody, guys, as long as you watch the video, as long as you like. No, 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 no. I, I need your like, all right? If you don't want to like, don't like. And I want your action. Step outside. Do something. Do something. You know, right now, by now, Swahili Nation One Africa, we're supposed, in our email, we're supposed to have like flooded messages, thousands of messages. People say, okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. Let me tell you something. Yes, we received some requests from other people. They say, okay, tell me what can I do to help? Tell me what can I do to help? You don't know what you can do to help? Come on, man. I'm, you know, I don't even like those questions anymore. If somebody asks me that, I just know, oh, they don't want to help. Tell me what can I do to help? No, man, this is yours. This is your organization. Tell me what can I do to help? You don't know what we are doing to help? You don't know that we need offices? You don't know that we are working on our first project? You don't know that? Tell me what can I do to help? Tell me what can I do to help? For, for real? For... Tim, do you understand those people? Am I the only one saying this? Tim, help me out in the comment section. By the way, guys, I'm not even seeing comment section. Are you understanding that? Tell me what can I do to help? You don't know how you can help? Are you for real? Oh. Oh. 
are you for real? I'm here in South Korea finding companies, asking them to believe in the project, Korean companies to come to support the project that we're going to do for our people, Africa. I'm here to do that and you're African and you tell me, tell me what I can do to her. I wish this project can be done by African and Africans alone. I wish that. Don't sit there and judge me that, oh, how come you go to them to ask for help? Man, I wish we can do it by ourselves. But it's too damn slow. Because people, they're not responding. And tell me, what can I do to help? You don't know that we're working on our first project right now. We have the full proposal of food security for Africa. Smart farming Africa. Oh, you don't know that we have been, for six months, we have been raising money for, for, for office. We don't have office and we register the organization and we have bank account with zero amount in the bank account. And somebody one day commented on WhatsApp, he said, how can this, this is what he said, let me repeat again. And I, I'm glad that they, Dr. Ibenez answered that guy. Me, I saw that message, but I didn't say anything. And somebody commented later, he said, Abeneza, can you please reply that person with, with, can you reply with nice? No, there's no reply nicely to the comment like that. No, man, come on. I ain't going to, for me, I saw that, first of all, I saw that and then I just ignore. I didn't, I don't waste my time to reply to the message like that. Somebody commented, it's like, it's like, because, because, you know, the day when the bank account of Swahili Nation One Africa came out, we are sharing here GoFundMe every single day. I went ahead and I shared that bank account. I said, guys, you can either use GoFundMe page or you can use bank account. So I share the page, bank account. Guys, we got the bank account. Here is the organization bank account. The, the bank account that I cannot do anything if I'm alone. It's an organization account. So I can't do anything with it. It's for the organization. And then this guy, he asked a question. He said, I wish I can, but there's so many messages in that group. He said, Tell us how, how how does this bank account help us? Oh man. Man. I saw that I saw that message. I saw that message. And I wanted, first of all, I wanted to I wanted to take that guy out, but I was like, okay, Mika, calm down. You get a lot of this. And people they say you're being paid by the government. They're being paid by Ethiopian government to talk about them. I've been given rooms here, guys, by Ethiopian Airlines. That's what I'm talking about, Ethiopian Airlines. So you are paying by the government to talk about the government. And um, well, I wish I wish I was, guys. I wish I was being paid. Because I wouldn't be here and I I wouldn't be here and talking about Ethiopian Airlines and give me giving me room for five days. I have three weeks. I've, I've been given room for five days. I won't be here talking about that. I'll be living the life that everybody wished to live. I'll be living in the five-star hotel. I don't even worry about anything. Be taking business first class all the way to here and there. Are you kidding me? I'm being paid? Anyways, so this guy, I, I read this comment and I'm like, I wanted to reply, but I, I couldn't. I was like, how can I reply to this guy? But I couldn't find the way to reply because every single way, this is what I did. In my, in my mind, I thought about 10 possible different ways I could answer to him, but all of them, they're not nice. So I didn't. I leave it. I was like, okay, let me, let me just leave it. Thank God. Thank God I have people. You know, in the organization, you have people who they're like fire. And that one person is Dr. Ibanez. Shout out to Dr. Ibanez. I love that guy. He replied to this guy. Hey. He replied the way that only Dr. Ibanez can do. Brutally honest. And I loved it. And I loved that comment. I was like, yes, that's how you do it. Don't, don't ask me, how can I help, guys? How can I help? We say Africa for Africans. That's what we say. When it comes to practical, we don't do anything. That's brutally honest. Africa for Africa? You're African. Did you do something? Do you want organization bank account? Guys, not my personal bank account. No. Organization bank account to support the organization. Do you want that? Do you want GoFundMe page for Swahili Nation One Africa to support? Let me let me show you in reality for you guys to see. And, and then 
Remember your words, Africa for Africa. Yeah, this is Africa for Africa. Do you know when it was created, this? I'm telling you, even right now, we are withdrawing this money. We are not even, the goal is 4,197. The goal is 25,000 for the office, for the rent of one year, guys. And for buying a studio and tools and equipment for work. For work. This money is not, I'm not raising, we're not raising this money for salary for Mika. No, I ain't get salary. I don't get even a single dollar. Don't have salary. Don't have it. This is for work. But it has been, how long it has been right now? And we're still stuck in 4,197. Then Africa for Africans. Shut up, man. Shut, just, just shut up, all right? I've been nice to my, just, just now shut up. People who are putting their words into action, the Ethiopian airlines here, who gave me five days here and I'm able to do this live stream because if I was living with my friend, I cannot do this live stream, man. Right now it's 3 a.m. in the morning. My friend will be sleeping. How can I do live stream right now? I'm making noise to my friend. On 15, I'm going to another city because my friend offer place to stay with my friend, but I'm not going to be able to do this live stream in the morning because it's quite noisy. There's a link here. The link is in the comment section. Africa for Africans? This is Africa for Africans. What? Do you, what? How, how do you expect things to move on? Oh, man. Passion talking and people running away. That's all right. That's all right. I'm here today to appreciate and also to remind you guys that when we say Africa for Africans, always in the battle, if you're fighting the battle, you have soldiers who are standing in the front line. Let me tell you something. Those soldiers, they're the first one to die. They're the first one to die. And then the rest of you, you go home, you see your family, you see your parents, you see your kids, you celebrate life. But there are people who sacrifice their lives for you to be free, for you to be safe. We are those soldiers standing in front of the line. Me, faces you see here every single day coming. We are front line fighting the battles for Africa. Africa is huge. And we have seven, eight people. Hosting here shows every day. Supporting. We are those soldiers, guys. Standing in front and fighting for you, for your kids, for your future generation. If you're a diaspora, you come back home and you find amazing environment that we prepare for you to come and to enjoy. We are front line. And we are the first to die. And you will enjoy the fruits of what we are doing today. How come you cannot stand with us? How come you cannot stand for Africa? The way that God created me and the nature that he put in me, I don't ask for things. But I started to ask for Africa. And that's what I do. Started to ask for Africa. Because reality is you cannot do anything. You cannot win the war if you're all alone. You need soldiers. You need doctors to treat the wounds of the soldiers. You need cheerleaders. You need chef to cook the food. You need massagist to give massage after hard work. You need that. We are frontier. We're there at the front line fighting a battle, the wars for Africa. If you don't believe that, 
I don't know what you will believe. At least don't say Africa is for Africans. Don't say that. Don't say that. Because you'll be hypocrite and you're not putting any action into your words. I'm telling you guys, this project can be done by African 100%. Office, man, I'm telling you. I'll, I'll tell you this today, guys. I'll tell you this today, all right? We are raising money for office here. If anyone comes and say, Mika, I have an office, I give I don't care who is that person. I'm going to take that office. I don't care. I do not care. As long as I know I'm not going to sell myself, I'm not going to sell what we stand for, I'm going to take that office. We need office. Someone come and provide. Some people, they just have good heart. They might not look like you. They might not look like me, but they have good heart. And that's why here we say we are not anti-whites or anti-Chinese or anti. We are not anti them. We are anti whatever racism. We are anti whatever bad spirit. We are anti whatever humiliation, exploitation that some of them are doing. We're going to condemn. We're going to stand against that. But if we have someone coming and say, hey, we have this. Come and use it for office. I'm going, man. And you ain't going to tell me anything about it. Because God called me and this mission, he gave it to me. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that this mission is coming to pass. I'm going to do anything you can. If you choose to support, that's cool. If you choose not to, that's cool too as well. But we are going to move forward. I ain't going to reject, trust me. We get funds. Somebody is giving, is, is it funds? Support, funds, because we ain't going to return anything. Someone is giving that support to us. I'm going to take it. I am going to take it and we're going to do a crazy amount of good work for our people with that money. And we'll show the report to the government at the end of the, at the, end of the year because every single penny needs to be used for the project. And of course, to support those people who are working day and night for that. So we're going to take it. Until one day when all Africans are working and they say Africa is for Africa and they actually do something, then we'll be able to do that. For me, I'm telling you guys, Africa can be changed by Africans. Man, we have money, we have ability, we have everything to change the continent, but we don't have will. We don't make decision to do it. We don't do that. We don't have will. We don't have decision. We always say this, guys. The other days, I always ask you, how many people here they are using Netflix. How many people here they have subscription? How many people here they have YouTube Premium? How many people they have this and that? Ask yourself, and you don't even have membership of Soil Nation One Africa here. Membership that you can choose to give two point nine 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 dollars a month. Two point nine 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 dollars a month. The matter of fact, as I'm talking here, I'm just gonna be sharing the link because some of you might be touched right now and be like, "Oh, but this guy, I know he's talking a lot, but he's he's talking to me." Okay, I'm gonna share the link here. Join membership. Join. Let me show you here, guys. Let me show here, guys. So if you go to, if you go to YouTube, oh, thank you so much for those who are giving super chat. I appreciate you guys. I think the message is going clear. Uh, let me show you here, guys, how you join membership. If you come here on YouTube, you see this option of join. Do you see here join? So you basically just click this join. By the way, not here, but here you can see this couple of members here we have. All right. If you go here, you click here join. It's a membership. And you see here, there's a distance cousin. It's $2.99 a month. Distance cousin, guys, a month. And then you have close cousin, $5.99. And then you have sibling, 36, uh, 3.6, yeah, I think. And yeah, 30, 36. Ah, here, this is in, in, in Korean one. I mean, in Korean money, that's why. And then you have Swahili Nation partner. This one is $99.999. So it's almost $100 every single month. Here, this is like $49.99, senior siblings. And this one is $29.99. And this one is, uh, I think it's 5.99. And this one is 2.99 a month. This is membership. Like I'm, I'm becoming a member. Member, basically, what it means is that, hey, I support every single month as a member. And this is my pledge. Basically, that's it. This is a family of two. 124,000 people and plus. But you can see, let, let me tell you exactly the number of members we have, all right? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you guys, I'll be brutally honest with you, all right? Because sometimes when we don't talk, nothing happens. So we need to talk sometimes so that something can happen, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking, you know? Uh, I ain't doing anything but just talk, all right? 
All right, let me show you here. Right now we have 43 members. So the family of 224,000 people, we have, this is a reality check. Uh, we have 43 members, 43 members, 43 members. And also, that, this is one option of membership, but also we always share, if you go through this video at the comment section, I mean, at the description, you see the link of Patreon. Some people, I mean, on YouTube membership, sometimes, you know, you know those guys, they, you know, they take a lot of money. So, um, you know, we have some option of Patreon. And this Patreon is basically if you want to support me personally, me personally. This is you supporting me personally, me personally, as me, me personally. This Patreon is in the comment section. PayPal is in the comment section. Membership is in the comment section. GoFundMe is in the comment section. Just go and you... You pledge whatever you can, right? So, I'm I'm pretty sure that Africa can be can be can be saved. Um, when I, when I say that, I mean Africans, right? Because Africans that's that's our job, all right? You guys, you, you hear that? Two hundred and twenty-four thousand people. We have forty-three members. It's it's mind blowing. If you want to support me direct, I'm sharing the link there because I can sit here and, and, and say like, I don't, I don't need support. I need support, man. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to use Patreon, you can support. If you want to use membership, you can support. If you want to use GoFundMe for the office, you can support. If you want direct bank account of Swahil Nation One Africa, please send me email, send us email. And let me give two emails because sometimes, you know, emails might not work. So two emails, if you're sending something, for to us, I want you guys to use two emails. All right, I'm giving you two emails. Um, let me give you two emails. Two emails is um, or somebody can comment in the comment section. Uh, info at sn1africa.com as well one Africa official at gmail.com. This too. So when you're sending emails to us, make sure you send to these two emails because just in case, you know, so that you may make it because sometimes, you know, one email might not work. So send to both of them info at sn1africa.com and oneafricaofficial at gmail.com. If you want the direct account of Swahili Nation and you want to pledge your whatever, we'll send it to you. All right. And we'll appreciate it. Right now, since we opened, it has been one week and still the account is zero. So you guys can go and support us, you know. All right, guys. Um, I appreciate guys for being here. Where is your documents? I, I, I can't show documents here, Ryan. Ryan Ali, I can't show documents here. Why should I show documents here? Those are sensitive documents for, for, for what? For the organization. I can't show you, but we are registered and we, we are already registered. If you're part of this family, I think you know that already. Um, you know, and um, we have a bank account already. You can open bank account if you don't, if you don't have like registration. That's how it works in the country where I'm coming from, and um, and we're raising money for the uh, for the for the office, and um, I'm here to present my the proposal for the project that we want to do the first project we want to actualize in Africa, and yeah, so there's a lot of things going on, and all of this we need finance. That's what we need. So where's my document? You want to prove if I'm legit or if I'm lying? I don't know, man. If, if I can't, I can't prove that to you, all right? So, just maybe, anyways, um, maybe somebody else who, in the team who has really, like, really don't have issue with that will 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 help you out. Yeah. Um. Thank you, bro, guys. Uh, there's so many comments in the comment section. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And um, you know, very soon we'll be able to um. Yeah, um, I, I forgot what I wanted to say, but um, yeah, thank you guys for joining. Uh, if you can like this video, please do. Um, that's what you do when you watch something, unless if you don't like what I'm saying, then you don't have to like. 
right? Um, but yeah, all in all, let me close this session because where I am right now, it's already 4.15 a.m. So you see what I'm saying? 4.15 a.m. And I'm right here, all right? I love you guys so much. I love everybody who is joining here. Uh, just stay tuned. I'm going to go live as many times as I can because I'm here in a really nice place and I'm here for only five days. So I need to take advantage of that. The next step, I don't know. After five days, I don't know where I will go. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. But uh, all in all, I just bless God. And um, so I'm going to use the time that I have and leave right now uh, to, to do what I'm called to do uh, to the best of my ability. All right. To the best of my ability. The good thing of what I'm doing is that no man called me to do what I'm doing. Nobody asked me to do what I'm doing. Nobody convinced me to do what I'm doing. All right. Nobody gave me anything to do what I'm doing. So whether I receive or I don't receive, I'll do it. Whether there's a support or there's not support, I'll do it. Whether there's a donation, there's no, I would do it. Like no matter what I'll do it. There's no one day that I will leave that, oh, guys, you're not supporting anymore. I'm not going to do it. No, no, no. There's nothing. Don't expect to see that from me. You always see me doing what I'm doing no matter what. Moment like this. Mika uko api? Yes. Uko api. Nipo, nipo, nipo Korea saizi kwa sasa. Kwa mda tu, ni kwa mda tu. Nita kwa yapo kwa wiki kadha, lakini uh, I'm going back to Africa very soon. All right? Uh, let me shout out to people who gave actually super chat. Let me acknowledge them. Ainea uh, Neuno, I appreciate so much for the super chat. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for your generosity. And um, we have Jim 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 Tulay says, "Thank you, my brother. You deserve more. We Ethiopians have some problems, but when it comes to the freedom of Africa." Our fathers have paid a lot. You're doing their dreams, and thank you. You know, thank you. I appreciate Jim Tulay. Appreciate. Um, yeah, all, all of us Africans, we have problems, man. Um, you know, but one thing that I agree with you and 100% is that the reason why I, I, see, I see Ethiopia with a very different eye is because the love for the country. Let me say this, guys. Ethiopia love their country. Even when they attack their leaders, even when they're really mad or they do this and this, even when they do that, man, it's love. Love can be shown in a different forms. It's like your parents, when they beat you, man, you thought they hated you. I thought I was adopted, but they loved me. They loved me. That's the way they express love. It's love, man. Love is what makes people do that. When people, they just start not caring about anything. Oh, man. Run away because love is not there. That's why when the, some, someone says, I feel good, you are good. When someone says, I feel bad, you are good. When someone tells you that I don't feel anything, run. My friend, Rano, hey, hey. <laughs> I don't feel anything. <laughs> you're, you're literally not a human being. There's something wrong. So when people respond negatively, it's good because you know what they're thinking. You know what that they care for the country. They care for their people. That's why they're responding negatively. When people, they respond positively, you know, they care and they understand what's going on and they support. But when people, they don't respond at all. You talk to people, they're quiet. You talk, nobody commenting. You see, you have 200 people watching, nobody saying anything. Oh, my goodness. Hey, hey, just end that live stream and get out of there. So, people, they can, so, what, what I love about Ethiopia is that there's so much love for the country that all the time when I look at that, it inspires me to love Africa, to love my country to love Africa with everything I got. And that, that has always been my, my, my motivation. That, that has always been my, 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 my ask to you that, guys, as much as you love Ethiopia, love Africa. We are Africans. We are one people. Forget about politics. Forget about this country and that country. Let's love each other. Let's love Africa. Let's love Africans. Let's do that. Just that. Just that. 
Yes, maybe Africans are hard people to love. But God loves you with all your wickedness. You're a hard person to love. He forgives you today, tomorrow you do the same thing. That's me. But he loves me. I'm still alive, still breathing. This is the love of God. I'm breathing the love of God. How dare you cannot love your neighbor? Doesn't matter what they've done. They stick together, Africans. That's what we do. We stick together. In worship, in good time, we stick together. We stick together. Our ancestors pay the price. We can pay the price today by loving one another. They fought for us to, for us to be free. I appreciate super chat from my friend here. You have been giving super chat a lot. I've been seeing this name. I'm sorry I cannot read your name, but thank you so much. You have been generous so many times. Every time you come here, I see you giving. I love you. Thank you so much. I hope one day I will see you face to face. If you're in Ethiopia, I hope I'll come there very soon. I'll see you face to face to appreciate you. You mean a lot. The same thing goes to Jim Jim Tulay. I've seen you. I know I've, I've started to see you recently, but you've been very generous uh, to give and to give and to support. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I love this. One Africa, one Africa. Somebody was commenting. Yeah, that, that, that comment deserved to be shown there. Henok Adane. Appreciate my brother. Let me see if there's any other super chat here. That was it. Uh, for those who are joining as a members, I appreciate you guys as well. There's so many comments, guys. I cannot read all these comments, but I'll read. I'll, I'm giving priority to the super chat that came. Those are comments that I'll read. Um, for all of you guys, I know that we have team here in the comment section. We have people that are watching and reading. So if there's any question, they'll be able to respond to you. Tim, Tim, guys, whenever you see, um, you know, the names uh, with the membership, uh, the names with um, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the logo in front of it, um, those are, you know, that that is Tim right there. All right, that's Tim right there. So um, these guys, they, yeah, they will, they, will, they, will, they will help you. They will support you. They will be there for you. So I appreciate you guys. All right, guys. Um, I will stop this video right now, and then um, and then I will upload the two minutes video. Uh, the video that I was thinking once again for the last time. Let me appreciate Ethiopian Airlines and everybody who is watching here. Make sure you use only Ethiopian Airlines. That's the only airline to use. Okay. Um, I will send my gratitude like that for this uh, for generosity of giving me five days to live in the hotel. Uh, with breakfast, uh, and also uh, for actually extending my flight and without paying anything. So um, I appreciate that. And um, yeah, that's the thing. I appreciate that because when people, they actually appreciate you, you need to appreciate them no matter what you're doing. You need to appreciate them because there's a lot of people who don't appreciate. So I'm seeing the patterns of Ethiopians really appreciating and I appreciate them back, you know, appreciate them back. And Ethiopians, let me say this. You guys, I know you are a lot in this family. Let's join our hands together and let's fight for one Africa. So together, me and you guys, the capital city of Africa, we are coming together. We're fighting for one Africa. So we go to Tanzania, we go to Kenya, we go to South Africa, we go to Rwanda, we go to Burundi, we go to Ghana, we go to Togo, we go to Mali, we go to Nigeria. We go together. We fight for one Africa. So when you see me coming here talking about Nigeria, Nigeria, they'll be having election and they'll have a sessions here. Um, just know that you need to come to be there as well. Just the fact you see Nigeria, you're like, oh, I'm not Nigerian, I'm not going. No, 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 come. Because you guys are playing. Remember that you're the capital seat of Africa. Remember that. That is Ethiopia. If you're the capital seat of Africa, you should be everywhere. You understand what I'm saying? I hope one day 
I hope one day you guys will get that. I hope you get that. I'm saying this because, uh, you know, sometimes when you, when, you, when you are talking about another country, you're not there. So I'm saying this so that you may understand this, that you guys are capital city of Africa. Ethiopia is the mother of Africa. Mother is everywhere. You can't be mother and abandoning your kids. It doesn't make sense. Where your kids are going to get milk? Where your kids are going to get food? Who is going to take care of your kids? Think about that. All right? Think about that and come and represent Africa. Um, what else was I wanted to talk about? Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So if you guys you want to uh you want to you want the bank account of the organization, let me know. I'll send to you guys. Oh, by the way, no no no, let me let me just show here. Why should I say I can show it here? I can show it here in the comment section uh for you guys to actually see. Yeah, let me let me send here. Why should I not show here? We have it. Mm. Where is that? Where is that? Okay, Paul is right here. Paul, um, can you comment the bank account of um Soil Nation One Africa? Because I I'm thinking where I okay, okay, okay. I think yeah, uh, I think it's somewhere here. Wait, let me come. Yes, it's right here. No, 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 this one. Bank account of Swahili Nation, One Africa. Comment that. Comment that in the comment section. Okay, here, yeah, I found it. Um, let me comment. We have two account like for the local number and also, I mean, for the local currency and for the dollars, but I'll send the dollars one, all right? Um, let me comment here, the bank account for the Soil Nation One Africa. Mm, yes, and one, two. And, and one of the good thing is that Man, we we actually open account in from the bank of Pan Africa Nizim Bank, right? It's Stan Big Bank. Stan Big Bank. It's a South African bank account that is actually across Africa, and um, it's Pan Africanism Bank. Nine one two zero 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 twenty seven six three five seven three. Okay, so right here, Stan Big. Um, Stan Big Bank. Okay, this one. This is the bank account of the organization, Stan Big Bank. Um, where is it? Oh, it's here. Uh, but I need to add something else. Stan Big Bank. Um, S N O A. Yeah. S N O A Foundation. You guys see, this is the bank account, okay? The organization. Show it you. Yeah, that's the bank account for the organization. By the name of the name of the account is um account name is Swahili Nation One Africa Foundation. All right, Stan Big Bank, and that is the number. Uh, if you need Swift codes uh, and branch. By the way, yeah, everything is right because um, branch and shift code, uh, they're here as well. But that is the bank. Uh, let me add their shift code, by the way. Because some people that might be wanting to send right now. So if you want to send right now, I'll add shift code. You know, the good thing about the bank is that you can send whatever amount you want to send. Even if it's $1, if you are contributing, right? So... Why don't we contribute? Actually, we're coming back with the website. And the website, I think we need to have a membership. Membership, that means um, if you are becoming a part of this, you need to pay this amount yearly. So we're going to come up with something good that will support uh, the work we're doing because the people who are working day and night 24-7. So they need us as well to be supported, you know, for the work they're doing. 
you know, they need to be supported. Yeah. So yeah, that's 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 the the Soil Nation One Africa Foundation Bank and the Swift Code right there as well. Yeah. If you need anything else, you let me know. But that is it. Oh, 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 oh. You guys can go ahead and um and do whatever you want to do. Let me copy this and share somewhere else as well. Right there, guys. Let me add here. Let me add here. Subscribe, membership, subscribe, like, comment, share. All right. All right, guys. So, yes, they're down there as well to remind everybody. Is the account in Kenya? No, account is in Tanzania. In Tanzania, in Tanzania, that Tanzania is where the headquarters are. Uh, Tanzania, the account, account is in Tanzania, Ryan. And the good thing is that I have my phone here. So if there's anything, I receive message. I believe if somebody, I will share with you guys. Let me show you the messages. I don't know if you can see uh, here. Okay, there's a there's a there's a there's a little rally. Let me remove that option for you guys to see. Okay. Uh okay. Let me okay. I just remove. All right, let me show you here. So here, if you see, these are these are messages from the bank since I opened, right? And all these messages, they 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 tell you like the balance you have. So all of them is USD 0.0, it's the 0.0, 0.0, 0.0. .0, 0, .0, 0, .0. Uh it started from uh September, September 29th, until today, September 29th, that's when I started to receive. So yeah, that is, that is Tanzania. So if there's, if anything comes, I, I, I know I'll receive the, the, I'll receive the message. And also not, not only me, I'll receive it because, you know, for any organization, you need to have signatures of two people. So the, that message is going to the two people. It goes to me and to somebody else who actually, in, in, um, you you know, has uh, access to that as well. Yeah. All right, this is good. So right now, the host as well, uh, whenever you host, just make sure you leave, uh, you also share this, you know, um, uh, bank account for people to actually, you know, support whenever they can for the organization. Yeah, so... Yeah, and if you, yeah, anyways, that's it. Because when we're opening, we'll open two accounts. One account is for dollar and another account for the local currency because we, we, we promote our own currency as well. So, yeah, and dollar because for people, some people, they donate direct dollar so they can donate through that. And for other people, they uh, give something else they can do like that. Yeah, so, oh, God is good. Oh, I love this. I love this comment here. Africa unit for the benefit of your children. You deserve shout out there. God bless you. Mika, keep going. You're doing a good job for Africa. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do this good job together. Ethiopian Airlines, happy to serve everyone. If you have anything you don't like about the airline, please comment the way we will let them and now thanks everyone have a nice day and night oh man so you work you work for ethiopian airline uh, somebody tell me what is this name because i i've been seeing you a lot here supporting and donating i've been seeing this thank you so much this is someone who is actually working for Ethiopian Airlines, representing Ethiopia. I, I had no idea. Ethiopian Airlines, happy to serve everyone. If you have anything you don't like about the airline, please comment that way. We will let them know. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice day and night. Yes, of course. I'll, I'll tell you this, the truth, man. One thing I love about, I, I don't know, man. For me, I... 
there's nothing that I, I don't love right now. There's nothing that I don't love. And I, I'm, I keep 100% honest. There's nothing that I don't love right now. I love everything, man. Because I eat a lot when I'm in the plane. And I always ask, like, double food. If, like, the flight attendants come to me and say, hey, we have beef here and chicken. What would you want? I'm like, both. That's what I eat all the time. And they'll be like, Abbasar, we need to finish first to make sure that everybody's good. And then when we have leg, we'll let you know. I'll be like, yes, please do so. And they always come back to me with the food. They always want, they always come back to me. I always eat double. That's why I love long trip because I can eat double, you know. I don't eat once because that food is, is small. So I always eat double, so. I love Ethiopian airline, man. And one day, one time, this, this one time, man, I wrote the business class, man, one time. Oh, that was beautiful, man. I was like, dang, that's why people, they write business class. Mm. Mm, I wish I had free pass of business class all the time. Man, that, that place you just eat until you get tired. What I'm saying? Oh, man. Uh, I just love eating in the plane. That's one, what I love. So, Shout out to Ethiopian Airlines. Everybody here, take Ethiopian Airlines. You don't take that, you're not my friend. You ain't my friend, and I don't know you. We don't know each other. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. As a personal comment. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Five days, DK, yes? Five days living in the hotel paid by Ethiopian Airlines. Come on, man. You guys, I want to I want, I want, I want to tell you this, guys. Go comment something. Shout out to Ethiopian Airlines. If they have, I posted the post on Twitter as well. If they have their Twitter page, go there, comment. Say, thank you so much for taking good care of our brother, Mika. Yeah, just, just comment something. You know what I'm saying? Just comment something. Because five days, it's, it's good. So just comment something to let them know that, hey, we as a people who are standing with Mika, we understand what you're doing. And we appreciate you for what you're doing. How many airlines are in Africa? And anyways, let me stop doing that, bashing other people. I pray for Ethiopian Airlines that they will keep striving, they'll keep, they'll keep shining, they'll keep growing, they'll keep beating all other airlines in the world. The code there all the way to the top. All right. My brother's wife, guys, is Ethiopian. I didn't even know that, but I knew that recently. Hey, my brother Sadeke, the team right there. Thank you, Ethiopian Airline, for promoting African causes and for taking care of our Mika. Ethiopia, the pride of Africa. Sadeke, I'm coming for you, my brother. I'm coming for you. You know what? I was going to leave Korea and go to Tanzania direct, but... I just change. I said, I need to go to Ethiopia first. So I'm going to Ethiopia. There's something I'm going to do there. I'm not saying right now because you'll be surprised, but there's something I'm going to do. You guys just see on YouTube. Something I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm going to apply for visa. Um, I don't know if I, I'm, I can take at the airport, but I need to find out about that because I've never done that before yet. But straight. So I'm going to change my flight just to stop at Ethiopia. And then I'm going to get out. I'm going to take care of that. Hey, Chala. Chala, you're back. Oh, my brother Chala is back. This is our brother Chala. Oh, man. You have been away for a long time, Chala. Game at you. Man. You see, I'm still here, my brother. I'm still here. I'm still here, my brother. Hey, you can go. But when you come back, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere, Chala. You understand that? You ain't going anywhere. Hey, Chala, Chala. I appreciate you, man. You know, Chala, let me tell you this. You know what I miss about you, Chala? I miss your little girl. Chala, he has this little girl that all the time when he joined here to share something, she'll always just be very excited somewhere in the background and she'll disturb Chala. Chala, you inspired me a lot to have a baby. So pray for me that I get married one day and have babies. Oh, I love babies. And Mr. Sadeke here, man. Ah, oh, man. Sadeke has such a beautiful babies, man. Babies are just beautiful. Ah, we, I sang together Sadeke's babies. We did a jam a little bit. 
when I was in Ethiopia, I visited his house and we sang together. Great is your faith. Let me share that video, guys. Let me share that video. I need to share that video with you. Let me show you, man. What about babies? Huh? Babies are cute, beautiful. Some people, they love dogs because they think that dogs are cute and beautiful. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But I love babies. Babies are cute and... <laughs> Please don't attack me, guys. I love dogs, too. Great. Easy. Let me show you, guys. This is me and Dr. Sadeke's babies. Together, singing, worshiping God. Enjoy this, man. I love babies, man. You guys have to enjoy this, all right? And then we'll come to finish. There's another kid in the background there. He's mourning. He wants to join the team to sing. How cute they are, man. Look at how cute they are. Look at how they are. And this little one is holding donut right there. Oh, look at that. the truth man like that's man all right um i have babies one day and you know i feel like i'll have uh, uh, you know the first two babies one i'll call one and another one i'll call africa <laughs> so both together will be one africa <laughs> my wife man i don't know why she's gonna accept that one one will be one and another one will be africa <laughs> one africa <laughs> One Africa, come here, come here. One Africa, come here. Hmm? 
the third one. I don't know how I'm gonna call the third one. I'm not, I'm not gonna call that foundation. No, oh, I'm gonna call the third one. Oh, maybe one. The first one, one. The second one, Africa. The third one, one Africa. That's it. Look at that. Paul, oh, you're laughing. You can do that. Sadeke, that's how I'm saying I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming, my brother. I need to meet my kids. Because your kids are my kids. I don't have kids right now. So your kids are my kids now. You understand what I'm saying? They're my kids. They're my kids, Sadeke. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. During vacation, they can come to Tanzania. Oh. They can come to Ankomika. Eh? They can come to Ankomika. You understand what I'm saying? Come to Ankomika. Uh. They can come to Ankomika. They can go with me. Ah, <laughs> Marie, you say, let's pray for twins. Please pray, you know. I love to have twins. I think your wife is going to be Ethiopian. So I'll <laughs> Reggie, Reggie, Reggie is blessing me. I think your wife is going to be Ethiopian, man. Yeah, let you know, let God do His thing, you know. Let God do His thing, you know. Let God do His thing, you know. Um, wish the same blessing to you, Mika. Appreciate it, Sadeke. No, oh, yeah. Just know if you're my wife watching out there, you have to know that my kids will be one in Africa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, it's like I gotta laugh sometimes with you, all right? If I'm here alone, I need to laugh with you, okay? If my job is talking to the camera, I need to laugh. All right. When is your flight, Mika? So that kid, I'll let you know. I'll let you know private, privately. But there's something big is coming. And right now, I just need to talk again to, you know, Ethiopian Airlines if they can change. Because uh, the destination, it was Tanzania. But I want destination to be in Ethiopia. And then after a couple of days, then I will go to Tanzania. You understand? So that means the flight from Ethiopia to Tanzania will be laid on because I need to stay in Ethiopia for something. All right something and that work you guys will see in 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 in, in, in uh, on, on here on youtube that that's uh, that was not planned trip it's just gonna happen along the way because i'm i when i was coming here i stopped there we met gp we came here going back i'm gonna stop there and then go to tanzania because i'm using ethiopian airlines again guys so stopping there i'm not just gonna stop there and walk no i'm not gonna walk away no i'm going there to do something mm -hmm. That is me. That is me. That is me. You should name one of them Menelik. <laughs> one love. So oh, that's good. You know, okay. You say Swell Nation will stand for love, peace, and unity. Maybe that's that will be their names. Love, peace, and unity. I'll just figure out what is love in some certain language. What is peace, some certain language, and what is unity in some certain language? So in my house, I have love, peace, and unity. And I always I want to adopt one, right? I want to have three kids and then I want to adopt one. So love, peace, and unity, and someone else. That's cool right there. Love, peace, unity. In total, there will be one Africa. <laughs> Boys say the fourth one should be snow. <laughs> so it's one Africa. Get out of here, bro. I'm I'm gonna be discussing that with my wife. You you ain't nothing. <laughs> uh, look here, we have Apple North and Seven. So whatever your heart tells, you go for it, Mika. Yay, BJ, that's BJ right there. Yay. BJ, BJ, BJ is very loyal. You know, BJ, she's always on my side. I love you, BJ. Well, these are people to love, you know. I love you too, guys. I love you too so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Love is a powerful thing, so I don't take it lightly for you guys, you know, when you say you love me. I don't take it lightly because I know you mean it. You don't say you love somebody if you don't mean it. I love you too, and I mean it from, the, from my heart. Thank you.
At least my oldest son, his name is Fikir, meaning, wow, okay, Fikir, meaning love. You know Fikir? Fikir, we have the similar Swahili word called Fikiri. Fikiri means think. So Fikiri is love. Fikir is love, meaning love. At least you have a nephew called, come on now. The oldest one, that's, that's the kid, man. I love that kid, man. Oh, the... Sodeke? No. No. That kid is Manchester City fan. No. <laughs> you know what they did to us? A couple of days ago. I'm pretty sure he didn't sleep. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love you guys. Love, peace, and unity. Oh, yeah. Love you back. So much love, man. Love you guys. Marie Antoinette. Hugs, sending hugs to you. Hugs from Africa, huh? Sending hugs to you. Love the family here. Belly, you Mariam. Nice to see you, Mika. With loving personality you have. Nice to see you too, Belly. Thank you. I've been seeing you. I've been noticing you. Appreciate for being here. Right? Appreciate. Oh, by the way, today another thing happened when i was at the uh, at the airport uh you know there were uh, there were ethiopians like uh flight attenders and um and uh, pilots and yeah they actually did recognize me so the uh the pilot was there and these guys they're like ah oh. so i had to get out where i was and go there to talk to these amazing guys and they watch our videos they've seen what we are doing um it was beautiful you know it's it was it was really incredible beautiful such amazing people and um yeah just yeah it's just amazing let me tell you this ethiopian okay this is to ethiopian let me tell you this secret you guys are amazing all right yes there's a challenges maybe you don't talk to certain tribe or certain people but man i've spoken to everybody i've spoken to every tribe I've seen nothing but love. I've seen nothing but love. And that's why I fight for that because I know it's inside there. It's somewhere there. I know it's inside there. If you guys can love me, I'm not even Ethiopian. And I know Ethiopian love Ethiopia so much. They love themselves so much. I know that. We can't argue with that. And you guys love me. I'm not even Ethiopian. <sighs> that thing, you just need to come out. Now, just need to come out. Just need to come out. Just remember my three kids, love, peace, and unity. Oh. My son was <laughs> battling, <laughs> made my day nightmare that Man City game 6 3. He was predicting Foden and Holland would kill us, and the same happened. Hi, right, brother. I will come. I'm coming. And we need to mourn together. But by, by, by then, guys, okay, I, I don't even need to say, but we need to mourn together for that. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you because you love Ethiopia and Africa. Man. I don't know why I'm getting emotion today. I don't know why. I'm having little tears that are about to come out. But um, I think... You know? I came here and... I met with some other Africans. I met with someone today that really... It was really sad. This, this person I don't know. And... Um, we're just, you know, African, right? Just sitting there at the airport. And then this lady, she was saying something. She was saying, she said, she's African. She said, I don't like, I don't like riding this airplane. This one, look at what she said. I'm going to tell you bad side and good side. So I don't like riding Ethiopian airlines because we're sitting and she said, she said, because there's too many Africans, too many black people. 
When you go to the airport airline, uh -huh, you see a lot of Africans there. Uh -huh. And then she said, I like riding that because you see white people. And he mentioned another airline. I was like, are you for real? I don't know this lady. Are you for real? So you, you don't like black people? That's what I asked. So you don't like black people? You don't like Africans? And she didn't answer that question. But I was like, this is really weird. I, I say that a lot. That this is really weird. And I, I don't understand why we'd say something like that. So we're looking at each other because we're there. GP was there and other Africans were there. And then we're like, that's not a look to judge. But I don't like riding. I don't like taking this airline because there's too many black people. It's awful. And you're black and you're African. And you say something like that. It's disgrace, first of all. Second, hey, it's beautiful that there's too many black people. It's beautiful because it's the African airline and our people are taking our airlines. You know, it was it, it's like a hope when, I, when the Ethiopian airline began the trips from South Korea, when they were doing this. It's, it's, like, it's like a dream come true because you're riding our own airplanes now. So... If you're one of those people, Africa, let's support Africa. Let's stand for Africa. Let's build our industries. Let's support our organizations. Let's do everything. Africans, let's do that. Africa for Africans, right? Let's do that. It's crazy. So those those are kind of people that we do have in the continent. Some of them, they have that mindset. I I I just I just stopped talking because I knew that if I'm gonna start talking here, I'm gonna get mad. So I was like, that doesn't make sense. You don't like Africans. You don't write because there's too many black people. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? You are black. You pretty much ride with those people and then some of them, they wouldn't even want to sit next to you because you're black and you, you can't ride your black ass with other Africans. Those are our people. But they're our people. They're our people. They are our people. They are our people. Love how I can take direct flight from Brussels to Addis. It's just seven hours flight. All other airlines do a stopover. Look at that. Look at that. Man, don't look down on any race. Don't look down on your race. That's worse than anything. Don't look down on any race. Don't look down on your race. I always say this, that Africa, we are not better than anyone else. We're unique. We are special on our own ways. They're unique. They're special on their own ways. Don't look down on any race. Don't look down on your race. Because when you say that about Africa... You say that about yourself. Let me tell you something. Do you guys know the meaning of the logo? The new logo we have. Actually, yeah. Do you know the meaning of that logo? The meaning of this logo is crazy. Let me explain to you a little bit. Okay? Let me go. This I'm, I'm sharing with you some, some deep secret information here. All right? But I will come with a video to explain the meaning of the logo. Or should I just leave like that? No, you know what? Let me leave like that. No, I'm not going to explain right now. I'll make another video to explain just the logo. Because this logo, the reason why I didn't say anything, because I want you guys to think. Look at this logo. Look at the details and tell me what's the meaning of this logo. Guys, this bank account here in the, in the, in the, in the screen is, is for SN, Soil Nation One Africa, Tanzania, Stan Big Bank. And the SBI, that is um, the 
um, what, what's the number what we call I forgot the name of the number Swift code, yeah, Swift code. When I went to Malawi, I took Ethiopian Airlines. We were around 15 from Ethiopia on a single flight. Uh, the Malawi airport people were thanking Ethiopia Airlines for connecting Ethiopia to Malawi. Look at that. Only 15 people, but still they went. Ethiopia Airlines, they go almost, they go everywhere in Africa here. They presently wait for the video. Cool, cool, I appreciate it. Okay, guys, I, I'm, I'm carried away. Man, it's 5 a.m. in the morning. I know you guys in, in East Africa there, you are 11 right now, p.m. I got to go to sleep, man, because when I wake up in the morning, I have coupon for breakfast, and I need to eat that breakfast. Breakfast is from 7 a.m. all the way to 9 a.m., so I think I'll wake up at 8.30. Yeah, now it's 5, so if I start sleeping right now, I'll try to be 5.30 or 6, 6, 6 7, 8, 9. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I need to go to sleep. All right, guys, Um, I appreciate. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And um, for everything you're doing, for all those people who gave today, I appreciate you guys for the super chat. I appreciate you guys for the Patreon. Uh, let me share the link of the Patreon as well. I appreciate you guys for become my Patreon right here. I appreciate you guys for the memberships. I appreciate you guys for the for everything you guys are doing. Um, thank you so much. I love you. In Africa, have a good night. Uh, in America, I don't know if right now is during the day. Have a good day. And um, in Europe, go to sleep, Marit. Thank you for being here. Good night with love, everybody. Good night, Mika. Uh, have a great evening. I appreciate BJ. Actually, it's morning right now. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, I appreciate, guys. I love you. I love you. Let me pray and then I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with these blessings. blessings. God bless you. I bless God today when I began the prayer. Thank you for this family. Thank you for Snoah. Thank you for everyone who um, participated here today. Most importantly, thank you for Ethiopian Airlines who gave me this place to stay for five days and helped me to change my tickets. I mean, uh, change my date freely thank you for that because um they're doing this because of the work that we're doing to represent africa and thank you that they always stand um to support that appreciate and i just pray for the more success more life and more blessings thank you for our parents for our families keep them safe thank you for everybody who is watching here today those who are going through difficulties sickness, uh, our sister Marie Antoinette, and uh, other people that maybe we don't know. Um, I pray that you remember them, you heal them, you give them strength and health, and you help them to fight and to overcome whatever battles they're facing. I pray all these things in your precious Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Good night. Amen. Amen. Sadeke, send my greetings to Mama Sadeke, and yeah, send the uncle kisses to uh, the babies as well. See you guys very soon. I'm coming. Appreciate Reggie, Marie Antoinette, powerful team, Paul, Marit, appreciate. Amen, amen. Um, Jerusalem Samuel, Berhamu Fantu. Everybody here. Michael, Miko. Appreciate you guys. All right. Thank you. I got to go now. Thank you for those who gave. I'll always thank you guys. You're doing more than enough. Right? Thank you. I'll leave you guys with the short video and then I'll be done. Oh, actually, somebody donated today. Donated... Mekonen donated 10 euro one hour ago. The GoFundMe page. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. I hope to meet you soon. Yes, I'll see you guys very soon. I'll see you guys very soon. I'm coming to Ethiopia. Uh, God willing, I'm coming there. So I'll see you guys soon. Coming to connect with my people. Amen. 
I love you. I love you. I love you. All right. Let me leave you with this powerful video right here. Bye bye. Okay, let me tell you this, guys. Darkness has no power. Darkness has no power at all. Like darkness, it has no power. Why? If you are in the deep darkness, all right, you don't see anything. You don't see where you're going. You don't see what is next to you. And then you just turn light. In one second, that darkness disappears. So do you understand the importance of light in the midst of darkness? Okay, on the other hand, if you have light, it doesn't matter how much there's a deep darkness. It doesn't matter, but you always see something as long as there's a light. This is to tell you that, guys, in the midst of darkness, there's these bright moments that happen. And our job is to focus on that sometimes. You know, there'll be a time we'll talk about the issues and everything and the struggles that are happening and how can we get over this. And there'll be a time that we channel our energy and we channel our hearts to something good that is happening. from the very beginning of time right and I can ask you one question right now what does history tell you about Africa who discovered Africa if you write right now on Google who discovered Africa you find out that is one white man that he came and discovered Africa and you can ask yourself that how can you discover a place that already exists how can you discover a place that people already live in that place it is impossible but that's what the history tells us that's what people believe about Africa, that it was discovered by a white man. This guy, he came, and then he went back, he gave a report. And then the next we know is colonialism, because those guys, they sat somewhere to divide Africa like a piece of cake, because they discovered it, they own it, it belonged to them. But that is us, we discovered, we're the first people to know. And today you have a lot of people around the world that they think that Africa was discovered by them. First of all, I think every African should be doing what I do, like everybody, because of who we are, right? We're African. We should love Africa. Uh, you know, when I went to South Korea, I realized that uh, Africa is being perceived and viewed very different. I realized that, well, the, the media, what I see on TV, what people talk about Africa, even my friends, they don't really know about it. Um, it's very negative. It's very negative. That was 2013, and I was like, I must change this. So I started actually there in South Korea. I started to go to schools, to like elementary school, like um, kindergarten, elementary, middle school, high school. I started to go there. That was like my part-time job. I went to, like in Korea, I went to every single city in Korea. I went everywhere in that country, and I was going to this to these schools. One day I went even close to North Korea, like there's this one place called Paju. It's just next to North Korea. Like you see North Korea is there, South Korea is here. I went there and I went to kindergarten. These little kids, and these little kids, when they see you, some of them, they start to cry. They just see you, ah! they say, why are you crying? <laughs> so, I was like, why are you crying? So, why are you crying? So, they're scared. Um, these are little kids, but that's what they have been seeing on TV. 
that's what like sometimes some of them even their parents teach them like that Uh, what we are trying to do is we are trying to build a new system, a new system that uh, is for Africans, it's for us, a new system that it will support us, it will um, challenge authorities here in Africa, right? Um, and it will challenge as well to defend uh, and protect the image and heritage of Africa, right, from outsiders, Westerners, Easterners, and uh, to build pretty much a new system because before colonialism we had different system right during colonialism we had a different system after that we're still struggling with this system right um and our forefathers like Haile Selassie, Julius Kambaganyere, uh, Kwame Nkrumah, Kaunda and, uh, and 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 so many others they tried to build a new system after colonialism that unite all Africans right to become one and they did their part right and you know now they are gone nobody's here right now so it's, it's our responsibility right now as, you know, the sons of Africa to actually carry on with that move and that fight. And that's what One Africa is standing for. One Africa is not about me personally, but it's about us. So Africa, a place where poverty and pandemic diseases are originated. The least wealthy continent per capita. The land where the only things to be found are animals, corrupted leaders, poor kids, dirty water and civil wars, people who are in need for help, donations and support, aka the NGO's motherland. For others, honestly, Africa is just a very hot, dark and sad place everyone wishes to escape one day. Well, whether you're an African or not, this thinking isn't new to you because you have read, heard, or felt the same way before. Just type the word Africa on Google right now. Hmm? Turn on your TV and see what the NGOs portray. Watch movies from Hollywood. Ask your mama, friends, or ask yourself what is Africa. Yet if you're still struggling to believe, let me ask you this. What comes to your mind when you hear the word Africa? Tell me the first thought that comes to your mind right now. Hmm? Honestly, tell me right now. But what really is Africa? What is Africa? Listen. There are many theories about the name, but one that is close to the truth is Alkebulan. This name translates to Mother of Mankind, or according to other sources, the Garden of Eden, the place where love, peace, and unity dwells. Alkebulan is an extremely old word. Many nations in Africa use this word, including Ethiopians, Nubians, Moors, and Numidians. For me, this isn't just the theory, but the truth. My truth I choose to believe in. As cliche as it sounds, that's the future I'm hoping for. The tomorrow, I'm fully determined to see. The dream, I am convinced and dedicated to fighting for until it happens. What is Africa for you? Hey family, I'm back here again to give you updates of the GoFundMe, Swahili Nation One Africa uh, funding how it has been going we have raised so far three thousand and three hundred and five euro and you guys you know that our goal is to have twenty five thousand euros so we still have uh, like twenty two thousand to go and it has been a month now um i just want to appreciate every single one of you who have donated something to this cause thank you for believing in us thank you for believing in the vision and thank you for taking one step to actually be the change that Africa needs. In order for us to reach this goal, in order for us to do our work properly, in order for us to continue to actually act upon all the ideas and visions we have, we still need your support. So I know some of y'all have donated and some of y'all have not yet donated. 
So I'm kindly asking you guys uh, to do that. So all the time that we have been talking and sharing about this is going to be the year of action, we meant it, everything that we said. And this is the moment that you can be part of it, participate in the action of transforming Africa. Having an office, guys, is more than just sitting on the chair, the desk, and do the work we are doing. But this is going to transform the whole atmosphere of the work we are doing. It's going to transform the image of Swahili Nation One Africa and how we operate our day-to-day -day activities. So help us out to get this place. Help us out to continue to create content that we're going to release out there that will defend and protect the image of Africa. Help us to be official. Help us to stand for our brothers and sisters, Africans, who every single day are dying and there's nobody to stand for. We have taken all the risk and we are ready to be accountable. We are ready to be responsible for our people. We are ready to fight for our people with everything in God. So we're putting our lives on the line to stand for our brothers and sisters who are suffering right now. So far, we have been trying our best to fight. We've been trying our best to reach out to different organizations. We've been trying our best to speak out, but our best is not enough. And so we want to expand. We want to have office, the place where we're going to have all the lawyers, you know, we know we have a lot of Africans lawyers out there who will be willing to actually contribute to fighting for our people. But help us with this first stage of having an office so that we may continue to do the work that Africa deserves. Africa needs change. And we have decided to change first and to go ahead to transform this beautiful continent. My people, my fellow Africans, we cannot do this without your support. Spread this word, share it with everybody, share with everyone you know, and tell them that we need your support. Be the change that Africa needs. Sometimes you might not even need to be here on the continent. And because of your donation, will help us to stand with you, to stand for you and fight for our people here. I appreciate guys. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your giving and thank you for your heart. I love you so much. And... geopolitics of the world never got crazier. This is the most craziest place on earth because this is the portion of land which is owned by absolutely no one. Like this is the land which is 
independent. It's not yet colonized. It's not owned by any state. You see, Egypt has some claims to the land of Sudan, and Sudan has claims to the land of Egypt. And if any of the two nations claim this land, they will have to lose all other claims to to the to their neighbor, like uh, Egypt will have to lose their claims to Sudan and Sudan will have to lose their claim to Egypt if they take this land and this land is really not that productive, it's really a desert place. So they chose not to claim it. So this is the only portion in the world which is owned by absolutely no one. And today I declare that this is Mousefield Kingdom.